Mike Bray announcing that he will step down at the end of the season as head coach at Notre Dame. 23 years. Mike became the winningest coach in Notre Dame history. Lifted the Irish to championships in the ACC after they moved there. They were forced in the Big East before that. Played some uh, tremendous basketball. Came within an eyelash of making it to the Final Four against that great Kentucky team. 28 years he's been a head coach. 23 of them in South Bend. 15 times he went to the tournament, 13 of those with the Irish, and the back-to-back -back Elite Eight appearances we referenced in 2015, 2016, and Mike has decided to step down at the end of the season. What I mean, I, I said it off the top of the show, he might be the only really normal guy in coaching. He's, just, <laughs> he's a tremendous person and a great coach. Uh, what's your reaction to, to him stepping down at Notre Dame? I, I was sad when I heard the news, uh, just because he's been – uh, such a great face uh, for Notre Dame. And as I think of Mike, the man, positive, kind, friendly. And he's kind of got that D.C. swag, right? When I first met him, uh, he was talking about not having enough juice. I was like, what are you talking about juice? And, and that, that, that's who Mike is. And the coach, calm under pressure. And I was saying to Seth Greenberg yesterday, I consider Mike to be an innovator. He's one of the first guys that I actually saw that brought the five out offense spread uh, with shooters, uh, with the four uh, out on the perimeter, one in the middle. So not only is he a great dude, but he was an innovative coach and of course took our team to heights that we hadn't been in a long time with two Sweet 16s and the two Elite Eights, eight. forgive me, and a Sweet 16. I'm very proud of what he's accomplished at Notre Dame. He's so normal, he's abnormal. Because you think about coaches, uh, you were a little stressed out at times if you haven't noticed. <laughs> oh, right. oh, I hadn't noticed. What? Don't misrepresent him being woohoo with how fiercely competitive mm -hmm. he is and how hard his team's played. And I think that's the thing. Now, you think about who he's worked for and who he played for. He played for Morgan Wooten, and obviously he worked for Coach K. You, you know what? In a lot of ways, I call Mike Bray Sinatra. Why Sinatra? Because yeah. he's done it his way. He's so comfortable in his own skin. Please keep the shirt on, though, Mike. But he's so comfortable in his own skin in terms of what he does, how he does it. He has his own philosophy and his own way of doing things in a very successful way. But fiercely competitive. His players love him, and they played for him. And what an incredible career. Next stop, hanging in the banner, right next to Fonzarelli in the ring of honor. Jay, you coached with him. What, what has Mike Bray meant to the game? Oh, God, he's meant so much, Reese. I mean, I met Mike Bray in 1988 when he came from DeMatha to Duke as an assistant coach, and I worked with him for three years uh, on the Duke staff when I was a graduate assistant there in the early 90s. And I spent a lot of time in Mike Bray's office just learning from him and, and soaking up everything he knows about basketball. And he's, of all the coaches I've ever known, I think that Mike Bray probably has the best feel, not just for the game, but for the players. Uh, he can feel their mood, uh, and he puts them in the best position mentally and physically to achieve. And I remember when he was at Delaware, uh, I, I went to, to see them practice. And I actually got a phone call. They were about to play in the America East title game against Drexel. And I got a phone call from Dave Miller, our boss at the time, and said, hey, can you get out to Newark, Delaware? I need you to do the championship game tomorrow. And I told Dave, I go, I don't know, Dave, that's a heavy lift. I was already there. <laughs> but I went in and watched film with the team. And Mike, Bra Mike said to me, he goes, we're really tight. He goes, the guys are really tight. They feel like this is must win. And he showed him film uh, of Drexel. And at the end of the film, he had spliced in the picket fence play from Hoosiers and told him if we do nothing else, we got to stop this picket fence play. And the guys started laughing. They ran out to the floor to practice loose and they wound up winning the game and going to the NCAA tournament. I think Mike Pegues was on that team. But that's the kind of thing he's always been about. Even that five overtime game they had against Louisville, every overtime period, Rick Patino looked like he was being tortured and Mike was like, let's play another one. That's great. Let's play another one. And the guys fed off that. I mean, he's one of the great human beings I've ever known. And I'm, I'm just proud to know him and proud of the career he's put together thus far. And I look forward to what his next chapter is. I was sitting on the baseline for that game that Jay mentioned. And you hear Bray yell like Ric Flair. Woo! And I was sitting closer to Patino. Patino threw his clipboard into the air. It was absolute disgust. And Bray's like, yeah, let's go, man. But the question now becomes, I mean, when Mike Bray steps down, what's next for the Fighting Irish? I mean, I think the answer is obvious. I mean, they won't even need a moving van because there he is. 
Hand <laughs> rested and ready. <laughs> he wouldn't even, even have to move the guy in. And see the rocky thing after all these years, Digger Phelps could come back. <laughs> Maybe. You, know, you know what the thing is? It reminds me of another story. Billis and I were at Syracuse mm -hmm. watching Notre Dame practice, and Digger was out doing Digger things in practice, and Bray walks over to Billis and me, and he goes, man, I appreciate the way you guys take care of Coach. He goes, there's going to be a wonderful place in heaven for you for that. But it won't be as nice as mine. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.